Hi everybody, welcome back to Play Long Practice with Amanda Shepherd Yoga. It's so nice to see you. Uh, practices tend to be about a level two, three, so you wanna make sure that you are feeling physically able to do a fairly strong practice. Um, a little bit of a late start for me, but um, let's get going. You wanna check the description to see uh, what I'm gonna do and um, props tend to be a couple blocks a strap and a um, blanket okay all right let's get started in a nice um, supine position whatever feels good for you laying on your back you can have the soles of the feet together knees out to the side you can place blocks here you can keep the knees knock kneed in constructed rest, Ardha Shavasana or Shavasana. Whatever feels right for you. Taking a nice deep inhale in, exhale through the mouth. One more time, nice deep inhale in, exhale through the mouth. And just let yourself drop into the support of your practice, right? Feel the breath moving through, allow yourself to engage any distractions. And as you name anything drawing you away from your breath, let yourself try and um, kind of figure out where that sensation is coming from. And then it's easier to let it go. your breath regulate right so as you become a witness of your breathing notice where it may stop or um, where it's not even see if you can even it out and just allow yourself to soften you know if those spaces that hold tension maybe it's your shoulders your fingers your toes low back, wherever it is. Maybe it's your um, center, right? Just take three more breaths here. Maybe just let your chin fall to the right and reach out with your left fingertips a little bit more and then back through center. Let your chin fall to the left, reach out with the right and come on back through center. And as you exhale, knees to chest, a couple low back circles, one or two each direction. And then find uh, number four, right? Knees right over the hips, ankles right out from the knees, arms out to the side, keep that core engaged, belly button again. Nice deep inhale here, exhale. Let the knees move to the right, left shoulder blade down. Inhale through center, exhale left. Let the knees hover so you're engaged. Right shoulder blade on the floor. Inhale center, exhale right. With your shoulder blades lifting, you're coming out of your twist. So maybe the knees don't go as far. I think it's about four. Let's do one more each side. Back through center. Exhale to the left. Back through center. Let those tootsies reach towards the sky. Let's reach your hands long. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Hover the shoulder blades, belly button in. And we'll go for 10, 9, 8. Just engaging that core. 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, sternum to sky, coming to Navasana boat pose. Lift the chest, keep your tailbone long. Beautiful, nice deep inhale here as you exhale, Arka Navasana. And then 
reach those toes to the sky, arm out to the side, and turn your toes to the right. All right, nice deep inhale here, like a pendulum. I'm gonna let my toes swing towards my right fingertips. You can do the bent knee variation. Keep that left shoulder blade down. Inhale back through center. Turn the toes to the left. Exhale. Right shoulder blade stays on the earth. Inhale back through center. Toes to the right. Keep it going. Try to keep the legs straight. And this is four. Exhaling to go down, inhaling to come up. Last time. Whew, that shoulder blade wants to lift. I want to keep it down. Good. Back through center. Beautiful breathing here. Let's reach the hands forward one more time. Navasana boat pose. Just bring the sternum up into the sky. And then let your feet come down. Reach your hands behind you. I'm going to back up on the mat a little bit. Nice straight arms. Keep the tailbone towards your heels and just lengthen the low back. Artha Korva Konasana. Exhale, come on down. And I'm just going to start to rock my knees side to side, right? So I'm just going to open the hips a little bit, bring the outer right knee, inner left, back through center, outer left, inner right. a little bit further. I'm going to let my belly button go over the right knee and I'm just going to lift and pulse five strengthening that outer hip. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach the leg long and find that number four left ankle over the right knee. And I'm going to swaddle the baby. Now you can take your hand to the foot if you prefer or if you like. Reach the sole of the foot into your, uh, just above your elbow. And I want to get the leg pretty parallel. Rock here, sitting up nice and tall. Now if I'm not feeling enough of a stretch, I'm going to come on down and try to push my foot into my arm. Keep the shin parallel. And then you should feel a nice stretch all through here. Right leg staying nice and long. Good, Arha Ananda Balasana with that left knee. Keeping your low back even on the floor. Maybe extend that heel out to the side. Good, nice deep inhale here. I'm gonna come back to Ardha Navasana. I'm gonna reach my left leg through and just hook my elbow underneath and hook the right elbow underneath. Inhale, sternum to sky. So it's like a Titibhasana prep, right? Feet come down. I'm gonna drop the knees off to the left, back to the right, left, right, Left. It's going to feel like you're crawling up the mat because you kind of are. Just getting a little fluidity. Uh, last time. I'm going to come on down to the left. I'm going to reach the right leg back a little further so I have number four legs like a pinwheel, belly button over the knee. And I'm just going to hover that back leg in five, four, three, two, one. Right ankle over the left knee, swaddling. I'm pushing the arc of the foot right above my elbow into my bicep, right? Sitting up nice and tall. If you don't feel a stretch on the outer hip, roll it out. Shake it out. 
Chin is parallel, push that foot into the arm, and you wanna keep your sits bones towards the top of the mat. So you're kind of stretching in a lot of directions. Mm, that feels so good. Shoulder blades nice and soft. And then Ardha and Nanda Balasana, half happy baby. Keep the low back nice and even. So your hip points are in one line. Asis is a straight across, nice and even. If they were headlights, the headlights would be even and not askew on the sky. And reach that right heel away. Breathing here. Soften your shoulders. Exhale, come on back and just hook your right elbow underneath the right knee, hook the left elbow under. And take a nice deep inhale here, exhale. And then inhale, starting to sky. Coming on up, breathing here. Beautiful. Let the feet come down. I'm gonna reach back. Nice straight arms. Ardha Corvo Tonasana. And if that's feeling pretty easy, I'm gonna let the sits bones come on back. Keep the feet together, maybe, or they can be hip distance, it's fine. Nice straight arms, reach your tailbone towards your heels. Core boat tonasana. Good, exhale, come on out. I'm gonna cross my um, least favorite ankle over and I wanna plant my palms, toes on the floor, knees in. And I'm just gonna straighten my arms and notice the lift here already. Now keep pushing with the sits bones. Now add the feet. Bring it back down and switch it, right? Add the feet, come on through to your all fours. Breathing nice and easy, inviting your cat cows. And then tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. First one of the day. Shake your head, yes and no. Let's reach that right leg back, open the hip. Do some circles, maybe check out your toes. Maybe allow yourself to reach back and find the shin. And then as you exhale, nice and gentle, let's step that foot to the outside of your right hand, inviting your Uttana Prastasana, your lizard pose. Any variation that makes you happy, there's so many. You can use blocks, you can keep your arms long, you can keep the back toes tucked, right leg lifted, you can let the chest drop towards your heel. Good, come on back through center, arms right underneath the shoulders. I'm gonna to tuck the toes. And I'm gonna take my right hand and connect it to my calf and just drop my shoulder as I turn the left toes to the side. Breathing here, nice deep inhale here. Maybe reach your arms out to the side, maybe interlace the fingers. And then I'm gonna let that right hand come onto the foot or the inside of the leg, Uttita Trikonasana. Left arm to sky, drop those left ribs in. Roll the right ribs into the stars. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Coming up. Keep that left hip scooching forward. Let's reverse your warrior. Root into the left foot, straighten the right leg, turn the right toes in, and let's take it to seat. Interlacing your hands behind you. Breathe laterally so you're getting nice and wide across the ribs. Exhale, diving in. And with your next inhale, let the hands go. You're gonna straighten the arms. I'm gonna bend into the right knee and reach around for a bind and straighten that right leg head drops i'm going to turn 
the right heel towards the back of the mat, maybe bound, Baha Chita Trikonasana. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna step that left foot up to meet the right. Take your time. <laughs> maybe straighten the arms and legs together. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale, I'm gonna bend the knees and take my left hand and reach that hand to my cap. Right, hands behind. Balance on your triceps, hug the inner knees to the outer arms, reach your sternum towards the top of the mat, and maybe float the feet, straighten your arms so you can lift a little bit higher, and then reach your heels away, Titibhasana. Kick your butt with your left heel, Ekapada Kundanyasana, and through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Shaking the head, yes and no. Reach that left leg back, open the hip. Maybe reach back through the shin. Kicking the foot into the hand. Exhale, we're gonna step that foot to the outside. Uttara Prastasana, lizard pose. Favorite variation. Usually what you did on side one is appropriate, but not always. So listen to your body. Letting the chest melt towards your heel if that's what you want, right? Relax into it. Walk your hands in. I'm gonna turn uh, the right toes towards the right side of the mat. Left hand connects to the calf and get that shoulder underneath. Maybe reach around, binding the hands. And then as I let go, Utita Trikonasana. Tailbone long, allow your torso to get long. Breathing here, nice deep inhale here as I exhale, fingertips into the stars. Virabhadrasana two, reverse warrior. Root into the right foot, straighten the left leg and turn those toes in. And setting up for Prasarta Padottanasana C on side two. Try not to scooch the shoulder blades together, let them get uh, wide. Exhale, diving in. Breathing here. Make sure your stance is proper, right? If your head is slamming into the floor, bring your feet in a little bit. If your head doesn't touch, let your feet go wider. And then I'm gonna release. I'm gonna reach underneath and find that bind, straightening the left leg and the arms. Turn your left heel in, Baha Trikonasana and then step that right foot up. Straighten the arm, the left leg and arms together. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna re-bend the knees. Lift both shoulders underneath the knees, bring your hands behind. Lengthen the spine as you push into the palms. Maybe float the feet. And maybe reach the heels away, Titibhasana. Kick your butt with your right heel. Ekapada Kundanyasana. Two, scissors. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Shake your head, yes or no. Lift the heels. 
As you exhale, bend the knees. We're gonna jump to Bakasana, so you wanna take your time. You wanna let the sternum go well beyond the fingers and go nice and slow. Maybe the toes touch, try to straighten the legs. And then as you exhale, find your squat. I'm gonna bring the shoulders underneath the knees. Bring the hands behind me, nice long spine. And one more time, Titi Basana. Good, breathing here. This time I'm gonna kick the butt with the left heel and bring that knee through and sit on down. And then you'll notice the knee is already on top of the shoulder, right? You can bring it on a little bit more, grab the outside uh, edge of your foot or your outer ankle. You can use a strap. Right hand reaches out to the side and I'm gonna twist, opening up. Breathing here, draw the left ribs in, right ribs towards the left. Uh, Pavrita Surya Yantrasana, compass or sundial. Bring that calf on top of your shoulder. I'm gonna plant my palms and I'm gonna straighten my arms and find my lift. I'm gonna let my left elbow come over the right. Astavakrasana, I'm just gonna straighten the legs and then bend the elbows. Good, nice deep inhale here as I exhale. I'm gonna reach that right leg towards the top of the mat and bring that left heel behind the knee. Belly buttons over that left knee. Nice deep inhale here, seated Paragasin. So I'm reaching that right hand towards the left thigh, drawing the ribs in and reaching that left arm up and over. Try to lengthen your spine here. Good as I exhale. Now come on out. Bring that left knee in and set up for Ardha Hanumanasana. Half splits. Right foot comes down, we reach that left leg to the sky, plant those palms. Look right in between your hands and find your pickup, push into the floor, root to rise. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale, heels come in. I'm gonna let the sternum reach forward and maybe find my Vakasana. Uh, okay, nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm gonna find my squat. Elbows underneath the shoulders, Titi Vasana. Lengthening the spine. Reaching those legs nice and long. And then I'm gonna take a nice deep inhale here. And as I exhale, I'm gonna bring the right heel behind me. Come to seated. Brook the knee through. And then the knee's already over the upper arm. I'm just gonna bring it over my shoulder, right? So I'm gonna take my right hand to the outer left ankle, reach my left arm out to the side, and just open up. Try to rotate a little more, Parvrita Surya and Fasan. And as I exhale, I'm gonna come on out. I might fit the knee a little higher. I'm gonna take my hands under my shoulders, straighten your arms, it's already gonna lift you. Snuggle the right ankle over the left, okay? 
Kind of straighten your legs and then bend the elbows, Astavakrasana. Good, and then I'm gonna come on down, reach the left leg towards the top of the mat and kick my butt with my right heel. Left hand is gonna reach through, left ribs rolling the sky. Seated power dots. Let yourself relax into it. Good, as I exhale, I'm gonna come back around. Bring that right shin in and just set myself up for Artha Hanumanasana half splits, half monkey pose, belly buttons over the knee. elongate, right? So that the discs between the vertebra are getting um, more spacious. I'm going to bring the, or decompressing really, right? Left foot comes down, right leg to the sky. Plant your palms and root your eyes. Coming on up nice and easy. Kick your butt with your heels, sternum moves towards the top of the mat, maybe finding your bakasana. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. I'm going to reach those arms out, doing wrist circles, coming all the way up. Exhale, samastihi. Breathing nice and easy, maybe taking a moment, if you lost your breath, to reconnect to it. Let's find Utkatasana. Exhale, folding in Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Plant those palms if you want to come through Bakasana. You're more than welcome to. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordva Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukhasvanasana. Left toes turn out, step that right foot up. Virabhadrasana one. Next exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Don't overthink it. Be easy. Right? Reverse your warrior. And bound you teach a tree pranasana. So just like that seated paragasana, you're rolling those right ribs into the sky and reaching around. Nice deep inhale here. You exhale, look towards the top of the mat. Step that left foot up. Take your time. Straighten the arms and legs, and then you're gonna root into your left foot. Lift the right heel, and we're gonna roll up, setting up for uh, Sparga Vijasana, um, bird pose. If you're standing nice and tall, and you can reach that right leg out to the side. Rebend the knee. Reach the arms out. And then an Ardhashandrasan standing on that left leg. Maybe Chapasana variation. And then just step it back through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps up, Virabhadrasana one. Reaching up nice and tall. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Reverse your warrior. Baha Trikonasana. Looking towards the top of the mat, I am going to step that right foot up. 
finding straight arms and legs as I root into the right foot. I'm gonna let the left heel lift and I'm just gonna come on up to stand. If I'm standing tall, I'm gonna let the left leg reach away. Exhale, re bend the knee. And Ardha Chandrasana. Left heel's reaching back, right arm underneath the shoulder. Shapasana variation if that's what you like. I can sit grounded in my right foot. And then let it go. Left hand under the shoulder and just float it back through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up the. Exhale, Adho Mukhishvanasana, downward facing dog. Grounding down through the index and thumb, wrap your triceps back, let your spine get longer. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, bend the knees. All right. And then I'm gonna jump it forward to Bakasana. So sternum goes way over the front of the mat. Nice and slow. Good. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, forward vastasana. Exhale, samastihi, find your chadasana. Take a breath. All right, sink those hips. Utkatasana, exhale, folding in, Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, maybe Bakasana. Fit those knees into the armpits or inner knees to outer arms. Through your vinyasa if you want it. Left toes turn out. Virabhadrasana one on that right leg. Exhale. Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reverses your warrior, the part of your Virabhadrasana. Exhale, Baddha Trikonasana. Nice deep inhale here. Next exhale, step that left foot up, straightening the legs and the arms. And then, inhale, come on up to stand. Exhale, Svargadvijasana. Next exhale, re-bend the knee. Arshandrasana. Maybe Chapasana variation. Keep those left ribs rolling into the sky towards the right. And then float it back wherever you want to get there. Through your vinyasa. Right toes turn out, left foot steps up. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, the part of Virabhadrasana. Exhale, nice and long in the sideways. Baddha Trikonasana. Looking towards the top of the mat with your next exhale. Step the right foot up, just straighten the arms and legs. Coming on up to stand, inhaling. Reaching that heel away. Exhale, re-bend. Arshandrasana. Chapasana variation. Load it back through your vinyasa. <sighs> ah! Thank you, Mike.
breath. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knees, set it up. And find your Bokasan. Go super slow as you push the floor away. Try to straighten your arms. Feet come down, Arha, Uttanasan. Exhale, Uttanasan, and sink those hips as you bend the knees. Utkatasan, Ordhasasan, exhale, Samastiti. Take a moment in your Tadasana, breathing nice and easy. Let's reach out to the right foot and lift the left knee and cross it over for guard awesome. Left arm underneath the right. Breathing here. And then reach those arms out to the side, open the knee out to the side, lift the knee a little higher. Setting up for Asapadam Vasasana B, look over your right shoulder, look forward. Then I'm going to take this into Ardha Shandasana. So I'm going to reach the right arm forward, hinging at the hip. Good, reach that left leg back, breathing here. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, Chapasana variation. Let's reach that left arm up and over. Coming on down, you're gonna rotate on that right hip. Push into your hands, maybe find a pickup. Keep your arms straight. And then Virabhadrasana one. Right leg. Inhale, reaching on up. Exhale, opening up Virabhadrasana two. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, let's just take your Tita Trikonasana. Left arm up and over. And I'm gonna open up to a simple twist. Left hand down, reaching that right arm to sky. I'm gonna let the left knee come down. and bring that heel towards the outer hip. I might stay here, I might grab the ankle. I think I might come down to my elbow. Breathing here. Good, nice deep inhale here as I exhale. I'm gonna gently release. And let my right shoulder come underneath the right knee. And then I'm gonna tuck the left toes, turn the toes out. I'm just gonna reach that right hip way out to the side. And then as I exhale, nice sweet girl. As I exhale, I'm gonna bring my head underneath and scooch that hip in. Plant the hands coming on out. Step that right foot back. And find your pickup. Coming on up to the top of the mat. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. And reach those arms out, forward with Sasan. Exhale, Samastiti. Maybe take a moment. Ground down through that left leg, lift the right knee nice and high. I want that knee to come into my chest nice and high. Cross it over. Right arm underneath the left. Guard us. Engage the torso. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. I reach the arms out to the side, reach the knee out to the side, lift it higher. And right job with that heel. Maybe look over your left fingertips. 
and look forward. Nice deep inhale here, hinging at that left hip. We'll let the left hand come forward. When my fingers touch the floor, I'm gonna reach that right leg back, Ardha Chandrasana, Chakrasana variation. Right hand comes underneath the shoulder. I'm gonna hop back a little bit. I'm not too close to the couch. And I'm gonna pick up and move to Virabhadrasana one. Keep your belly engaged. Coming on up. Uh, let's see. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here. Maybe you teach a trichonasana. Right arm up and over. Oh, I've gotten a simple twist. Sorry. Left arm lifting up, I'm going to bring that right knee down. Left arm's over the right knee. So I'm going to bend the right leg, heel towards the outer hip. Maybe kick the foot into the hand if you like. Come down to your forearm, open the quadriceps again. Kick the foot away again. Sternum away from the feet of bone. And then as I exhale, I'm going to gently release. Turn those right toes out to the side as I reach my left hip over the left side of the mat. I'm going to let my head come underneath the leg. And scooch that hip in. Then I gently release. Stepping that left foot back. And finding your pickup if you want one. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Reach those arms out to the side, do your wrist circles. Exhale, Samastiti. Okay. Grounding down through the right leg, I'm gonna lift the left knee nice and high, and cross it over for guard asana. here. Pat myself in the back with the right arm. Reach that left arm out to the side, sneaking that arm up the back of the body and draw those front ribs in. Gomukhasana arms, guard asana leg. Reach the knee out to the side, then the arms, and reach it out to B. Look over your right shoulder or fingertips. I'm going to keep a hold of my toe lock, hinging at the hips. Right arm's going to reach forward. Coming on down, gently release the leg. Chapasana variation. Float it back. Fear of Vajrasana too. Breathing here. Reverse your warrior. And reach it out. Utita Trikonasana. Left hand comes down. Nice simple twist. Left knee comes down. Maybe come onto your elbow. your variation. If you're using a back bend, really reach the um, crown of the head towards your heel. Keep your belly in. 
Keep rooting down through your left forearm so that your shoulder is comfortable. And gently release. I'm gonna draw back Ardhana Manasana. And this time I'm gonna push into my hands and bring my left knee in towards my chest. And reach it through. And then, I'm gonna swaddle the baby. Been here before, sitting up nice and tall. As I exhale, I'm gonna lift that. Letter C with my right hand, connect to my calf. Reach that arm overhead. You can invite Surya Yantrasana if that's comfortable to work with, right? Breathing here. And then if you like, you can bend. Reach the knee back even further and allow yourself to find a Kapata Shurshasana, uh, single leg behind the head, right? Nice, deep inhale here. Keep your chin lifted. Maybe bend the left knee. I'm gonna plant my right hand on the floor and take my letter C connected to my calf and reach that knee behind and see. Oh, I can scooch it. Maybe not. That's okay. Gently gonna release. I'm gonna plant the palms, straighten the arms, elephant trunk pose. Bring that left heel through and through a vinyasa. Right? Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, if you look between your hands and just let the feet come forward. Anyway, that's interesting. Stand the spine, exhale, fold. Arms out to the side, your circle is coming all the way up, forward, bust out. Exhale, samasihi. Allow yourself to take a moment and reconnect to your breath and then ground down through the left foot. You're gonna lift the right knee nice and high, cross it over. yourself on the back with the left hand. I'm going to reach that right arm out to the side. Maybe interlacing, maybe not. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Open the leg out to the side. Reach the arms and find your B position. Look over the left shoulder. Look forward. I'm going to hinge at the hips as I reach the left arm forward. And then down, right? It's just right out of the shoulder. Ardha Chandrasan, Chakrasana variation. Virabhadrasana two. Viparta Virabhadrasana, Uttita Trikonasana. Simple twist, right arm under the shoulder. All right, so you can reach your left arm. Allow the shoulder to move on to the back of the body. Breathing here, right knee comes down. Reach your hand back, maybe come down to your forearm. All right, whatever variation you like. Breathing here. Taking the foot into the hand, opening up. Making sure that your right shoulder feels comfortable. And as 
as I exhale, I'm gonna release. Coming back to uh, Ardha Hanumanasana. Hands right underneath the shoulders as so I push into my palms. I'm gonna bring the right knee through. Reach the right heel forward. And then I'm gonna rock the baby. Right? This might be enough for me. Maybe I'm good here. If I like, I'm gonna take the hand, make that letter C around my calf, drop back. Maybe if I went to Surya and Trotsana. I'm gonna keep crouching down because my bun is in the way. You wanna lengthen through the spine. And then if you want a little bit more, I'm gonna get that knee over the shoulder as much as possible. I wanna reach the knee back. And then I'm gonna let it go around, right? I'm gonna try and reach it around. Get the head through. Lift your chin, I'm gonna plant the left hand, and maybe draw that oh, oh. <laughs> left hand coming on back. Plant your palms, maybe elephant trunk pose. So I'm just gonna straighten your arms, just gonna lift the sits bones. Right, kick your butt with your right leg. And then reach it through for your vinyasa. Exhale, Adho Mukhasvanasan, downward facing dog. Let's just counter a little bit with a puppy pose. So knees underneath the hips. I want to keep that belly in. Walk the hands up, thumbs touching. Triceps wrapping down, uh, forehead and nose for most. Some people chest and chin, right? But keep your hip alignment. Good, come on back. Right elbow down, left wrist in line with the right elbow. Funky forearm stand. Mm. Hand down. Uh, let the shins drop. Keep the hips right over the knees. Gonna draw your hip points in. Lift the heart. Nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, maybe you straw some up. Why not? And then let's thread the needle. Reach that left arm out to the left. As you exhale, bring that arm through. Walk the right hand over her. Any variation you like. pose, maybe you like to be on your fingertips this time. Out on back, left elbow underneath the left shoulder, right wrist lines up, right leg reaching for a funky three-legged dog, breathing here, then as you exhale, let the shins come down and come on up. Breathing here, lengthen the tailbone. Shoulder blades lift the heart. Ustrasana. Root to rise. Right arm reaches out to the side, thread the needle, draw the arm through, and walk the left hand forward. Trading in any variations you like. Maybe you tuck the left toes, right? 
I got your Tootsie. And set left arm forward. And let's take Balasana, Child's Pose. Hmm. Maybe a lateral stretch over to the right, pulling with the left arm. Maybe coming back through center, letting that left arm reach forward and finding any variation of Vashastrasana that makes you happy today. Reach that right leg out to the right. I'm gonna come down nice and slow. And then reach that left arm out to the left. And I've got toe lock on that right big toe. I'm gonna to allow the leg bone to move into the socket. Breathing here. Stretching pectoralis minor, getting a little hip opening. Then letting go. Allowing that foot to come behind me, maybe left foot comes to meet it. Exhale, come on out. Allow yourself to find a sphinx pose, keep the belly in, roll your inner thighs to the sky. Maybe come up to an upward, uh, to a cobra variation. Cubic bone staying on the earth, elbows in. Good, exhale, come on down. And I'm gonna draw back the last in that child's pose. Breathing nice and easy. Lateral stretch, walking hands over to the left, pulling with that right arm. Coming on up, right hand reaching towards the middle of the mat. Any variation of Vashistasana on that right side, right? Maybe you're reaching up with the um, left hand. I'm gonna take a nice deep inhale here and as I exhale, I'm gonna reach that foot out to the side. Bring the foot down and roll on out. Keep reaching the leg away. I'm gonna reach the right arm out to the right. And as I exhale, I'm gonna hold onto my toe lock. I'm gonna draw the leg bone into the socket. And lift on up. Get in here. Right arm is anywhere between uh, one and three. I'm gonna let go, bring that left foot behind me. Maybe the right foot too. And come on out. Hmm. So from your, from your Sphinx pose, roll your inner thighs to sky. You're gonna reach out with the right leg, toes lifting, and just reach for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the right knee and Lift, five, four, three, two, one. Reach it away. Roll that left inner thigh to sky, reach out with the left foot and just five, four, lifting, three, two, one. Engage in the hamstrings and glutes. You're gonna bend the knee, five, four, three, two, one. Breathing here, core is staying engaged the whole time. Then lengthen forward, bring your elbows in, wrists right next to your waist. Mordha Mukhasranasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukhasranasana.
I'm gonna reach that right leg to sky, I'm gonna bend the knee. I wanna roll that right inner thigh towards the stars. I'm gonna lift the left heel, keep the belly in, and draw the toes towards the top of my head. Now I don't get very far, some of you might touch. Breathing here. Chest comes down. Come on up, find your six fold. Tuck the toes, forearm plank. Exhale, Balasana, Child's Pose. Okay, plant your palms. Gonna find your Akha, Mukha Shanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Three-legged dog, and we'll lift the right heel as I bend the left knee. I want to keep the belly scooping in as I bring the sternum through the arms and try to touch the crown of my head with my foot. All right. Chest comes down, and I'm going to reach back. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. Child's pose. Walk your hands in and come on up. Vajrasana, you can sit on a block if you like. Just gonna warm up the neck a little bit. Breathing here. I'm gonna interlace my hands, draw the chin back, and I wanna lengthen. Okay. Push the back of the head into your hands. Look down the tip of your nose, keep drawing the chin back. And as you exhale, chin to chest, or actually bring your chin towards your throat. Elbows towards each other. Reach the elbows towards the sky, or towards the front of the room. So you should feel this in the rhomboids between the shoulder blades. Exhale, roll on up. Good. Let your hands come down. Drop the right ear off to the right. Reach out through the left arm. And really reach the shoulder away from you. And then you can reach the left hand around. Find the right elbow. Still reaching that shoulder away. Maybe jut your chin up at an angle. Do a little yeses and noes. Let the hands release. You're going to take the right hand to the top of the left ear. Back up through center. Try to look over your left shoulder. Down back through center. Give the shoulders a little circle. Notice a difference in the sides, right? That left side is going to be nice and open. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale here. Interlace your hands the other way. Draw the chin back. Lengthen the back of your neck. Elbows towards each other. Chin towards your throat. Just ground the upper back. And then roll it up one vertebra at a time. Keep reaching your elbows towards the sky. Coming back up. And let your hands come down, soften the shoulders, left ear off to the left. Reach out with the right arm. Draw the shoulder away from the body. Arms active. And then turn the palm behind you. See if you can bend that left elbow. Bring your chin up towards the Side and angle, little yeses and noes. Keep the ribs in. 
Gently release the hands. You're gonna let your left hand rest on the right ear. Back up through center, look over the right shoulder. Look down the tip of your nose again, draw your chin back. You can have your fingertips on the floor if you like. We need to keep the belly engaged. Shoulder blades lift the heart. Maybe let your hands come behind you a little further. And when it's comfortable, then allow yourself to feel a nice release in the throat. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Okay. If it's not comfortable to do that, don't do that. You're not gonna force your chin up towards the sky because you can give yourself a migraine, okay? Just let the legs lengthen, get some fluid back into the legs. Shake your head yes or no. find a block. And I want my blocks set up so that they're going to support my inner shoulder. Okay, so I'm going to want them to be like supporting right here, right on the inner shoulder. Okay. Depending on your height, it's going to depend on the blocks. I'm actually very short, under five feet. So I'm going to have my blocks on medium height. If you're very tall, or you're six feet tall, go higher. Okay. I'm going to have my hands so my fingers are touching the blocks and I can keep my triceps reaching the back of the room. So they might be jazz handy, right? Let my inner shoulders relax here. I don't care if my chin touches the floor. I want to keep looking down the tip of my nose as I lengthen the back of my neck. I'm going to reach the right leg to sky. And maybe pick up. Maybe bend the knees. Drawing the toes towards the top of the head. Exhale, come on down. Kind of like that. Vistrasana. Keep the hips forward. Come on back up. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to take a little twist. Uh, I'm twisting to the right. Going in. Go over the left shoulder. Go over the right shoulder. And then... Take it to the other side. Okay. All right, scoop your belly. Let your low back get long. All right, coming on back, I'm gonna do the same thing, lifting the other leg first. So let your shoulder heads rest. Let that be nice and comfortable. Reaching the left leg to sky. Come on up. Come down other shin first. Now come back up. <sighs> Tailbone long. Hips right over the knees. Strasana comes sitting down. And then I'm going to twist to the right first this time. We'll go to the right shoulder and then the left. Take it to the other side. All right, coming on back. Maybe taking a moment. I'm just going to check the time. Okay, so if that was comfortable for you, 
then you can take it down one, right? And this is as far as I'm gonna go. So part of um, chin stand um, is, has to do with the flexibility of your neck, right? So if you're here and it's not super flat, and you're not gonna try and make it super flat on the floor because it's just not, um, you just don't have the space between the discs of your cervical spine and you don't wanna force them, right? You wanna keep it nice and safe, okay? It's a big pose. Um, I am personally not a person that will ever have my throat to chest flat on the floor. So I'm gonna come probably right to right below my lip and not even on the tip of my chin, right? I'm probably gonna be here where I have a zit today, okay? And I'm gonna set it up nice and easy. I'm gonna let my shoulder heads come down first. and ages so I was here not here I was here some people are here but not me I'm here hmm. taking a twist all right last time this time I'm gonna kick up with the left leg first um, well, hopefully, setting up my shoulder heads. Right. Reaching up with that left leg, keeping my elbows in. <clears throat> oh. Try that one more time. I'm going to come from down dog this time. And that's what it is. Lifting up. And interlace my hands, draw the chin in, and bring the chin in towards the chest. Keeping the tailbone long. We're gonna keep looking down the tip of the nose and then maybe bite a little bit of opening. Exhale, coming on up. Crossing my favorite ankle over. Not sure where chin stand came from today, but there we are. Um, Nice deep inhale here, and then exhale. I'm just gonna come on out and find a bridge pose. Maybe interlacing the hands. You can grab the outside edges of your mat. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna roll out one vertebra at a time and just bring the right ankle over the left knee, hips right, knees left, keeping my shoulder blades on the floor. I might bind it up. Reaching that right leg to the sky, finding toe lock. And opening those legs out to the side. I'm just gonna release and bring the hips left, knees right. Shoulder blades staying down, grabbing my feet, reaching them away from each other. Left leg to sky, maybe finding toe lock. I'm gonna reach the hands forward. And with my inhale, I'm gonna come on up to Navasana Boat Pose and cross my 
ankles. I'm going to grab a blanket and set myself up for a seated meditation. Sitting up nice and tall. Okay, elbows underneath the shoulders. feel comfortable doing like call and response to YouTube because it's like talking to a screen so um, I'm just gonna do nice simple uh, Om Shanti 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 peace peace and perfect peace Hello. Hey, and actually there's someone at the door so I'm gonna go okay